Hi everyone, we are going to do a quick abdominal workout. It's just a beginning abdominal workout, but what it's going to do is it will prepare you for a Pilates class. So I will be showing one version and Patricia will be showing a more modified version. If you have a ball or a ring at home, you may want to have that handy. And you could always use a block or anything really, even a pillow. So we're gonna hold your arms straight out in front and we're gonna take a deep breath in through your nose and on your exhale, we're gonna tuck your tailbone and slowly begin to roll down one bone at a time. When you're all the way down, we're gonna stretch and reach your arms back behind your head. Inhale as you bring your arms back up and then exhale to come all the way up and then stretch and reach forward towards your toes as if you're diving up and over a beach ball. And then we're gonna slowly roll it back down. So one bone at a time, we're lengthening the legs along. Trying to go down nice and slow. So just really lengthening the spine as we come down, feeling each bone one at a time touch the floor. Inhale as you stretch and reach back. Exhale, arms come up, chin comes to chest. And we roll all the way up and dive and reach forward as if you're diving up and over a big ball. And one more time, we're gonna slowly roll it back down. Lengthening the legs long, squeezing the quads, pointing the toes all the way down. Take your time, the slower the better. Here's the last one here. Inhale, arms come up. And then exhale, come all the way up and dive and reach forward, really pulling your tummy in. So navel deep into the spine and slowly roll it back down. And we're gonna hold it down there for the next few exercises. So now that we're down here, we're just gonna go ahead and relax our arms down by our side. And we're gonna bend your right knee and then bend your left knee so that your feet are flat onto the floor. And just slide your shoulder blades down away from your ears so your arms are nice and long. We're gonna take a deep breath in and on your exhale, we're just gonna lean your body over towards your right heel. Okay, so your head is still onto the floor and we're just sliding over to the right and then we're gonna to come to center and then we're gonna slide over to the left. Just waking up our obliques. Let's do that two more times. So slide to one side and then come to center and then over to the other and then right back to center. Very good. So now bringing your hands back behind your head and we're gonna take a deep breath in and on the exhale, we're gonna lift your head, neck and shoulders as we come up and look towards your belly button or towards your knees. And now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and lean over towards the right heel with our armpit and then come to center and then over to the left and then back to center. Let's do it again two more times. To the right, and then center, and left. Center one more time, waking up our side abs. And last one. Back to center, and then go ahead and lower your head all the way back down. And releasing the arms by your side. We're gonna to inhale to bring the right leg in a tabletop position, and then we're gonna to exhale to bring the left leg in a tabletop position. We're gonna go ahead and inhale and lower the right leg down, touch the big toe to the floor, exhale and lift. And we're gonna switch to the other side. So left leg goes down, touch and lift. And let's keep switching. And your goal here is to keep your back flat. So, that little space in your lower back will stay there. That's a natural curve of your spine. However, your ribs are staying down. So you're in a neutral spine, a neutral pelvic position. One more time, right leg, and then left leg. Very good. So maintaining this position in tabletop with your legs, we're gonna lower both legs down and up. So we're gonna inhale to lower, and then exhale to lift. Only going down as low as you can without arching up and off of the floor. Good, give me three more. Inhale down, it's a small range of motion. Exhale, lift. If you go too far, you may start to lift up. So just feel where you can feel those abdominals being challenged. One more time. And then 
in tabletop. Good job. Now extend your legs straight up to the ceiling and point your toes. Let's inhale, lowering the right leg down and then exhale to lift. And let's do same leg four more times. Inhale down and exhale lift. Good. And three more. Reaching long. And two more. Maintaining the rib cage onto the mat. Last one. Good. Switching legs. Inhale lower and exhale lift. Beautiful. Four more. <sighs> Lifting from your lower tummy, drawing the navel into your spine before you even bring that leg back up. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. So aiming both legs up to the ceiling and pointing the toes. We're going to start to alternate. So we're going to lower the right leg down. Inhale down. Exhale up. Left leg down and up and switch. Right. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Three more. Now if you need to keep your leg bent, that's fine too. Two more. Relaxing in your upper body. One more. Notice what's going on in your core. Last one. Good job. Holding it here. Now I want you to bring your right leg down, keep your left leg up, and I want you to switch like scissors and switch and switch and switch. Remember, we're just beginning in the Pilates mat workout. We're going to start to take this into the next step, but right now we're just warming up. One more. And then meet both legs at the top, bend your knees, hug your knees into your chest, and then just rock side to side for a brief moment. Good job. And then when you're ready, just come to that tabletop position. Reach your arms by your side. And now I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose. And on your exhale, we're going to lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. Take your shoulder blades off the mat and come up and look at your toes. Reach your arms long. Now give me little pulses forward. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs here, but lower your body. Good job. We're going to do the same thing, extending the right leg. Deep breath in, exhale to lift. Right leg extends and pulse. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring the leg in, take it down and switch sides. Deep breath in, exhale, lift. Head, neck, shoulders, left leg lifts. And it's five, four, three. Pulling that tummy in, two, and one. And coming right back down. Good job. Hopefully you're warming up a little bit. Now we're going to extend both legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Reach your arms long and pulse it forward. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees in and slowly lower. Gently place one foot down at a time and then extend your legs straight and long. If you have a ball or if you have a ring or whatever you have, let's go ahead and grab that. We're going to reach straight up to the ceiling with our ball. And we're just going to take a deep breath in through your nose and on your exhale, we're going to lift the head, neck and shoulders and aim the ring, the ball, whatever you have up towards where the wall and ceiling meet. Okay, we're just going to hold it there. We're going to do little pulses up for five, four, three, two, and one, and then slowly lower. And now we're going to lift the right leg and do the same thing. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, lift the right leg and reach up for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the right leg, reach the arms straight up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, let's switch legs. So left leg comes up and lift. And five, four, three, two, and one. And take it back down. 
Good job, everyone. Reach your arms all the way back behind your head and prepare to roll up. If you need assistance rolling up, remember you can bend your knees, place your feet onto the floor, you can grab a band or even a towel at home would help. We're gonna inhale, grab your uh, ball and reach it straight up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna exhale, chin to chest, and we're gonna lift all the way up and then dive and reach forward. And then we're just gonna articulate your spine and sit up straight and tall, holding on to whatever it is that you have at home, okay? So here we go. We're gonna inhale, take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, we're gonna tuck your tailbone and we're just gonna roll down, about halfway down into your roll down, not too far. Obviously, the further you roll down, the more challenging it will be. So just give me a small scoop, really pulling in in the tummy. And we're gonna inhale to lift without your body moving, exhale to lower. Just maybe lifting to about the height of um, where the wall and ceiling meet. Two more. And then one more. Good job, slowly articulate all the way back up. Stretch and reach forward. And then articulate your spine to sit up straight and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale again, roll down about halfway. Lengthen your legs straight and long. Now we're gonna add some rotation. So going to the right, we're gonna inhale, twist, and then exhale, center. And left, and center. Two more times. And right, center, left, center. Last one. Beautiful, one more. Nice, and now we're gonna roll all the way down one bone at a time, so take your time. <sighs> and stretch and reach your arms back behind your head. Let go of whatever you have. Relax your arms down by your side. <sighs> and just let your body relax down onto the mat. <sighs> just breathe. If you'd like, you can close your eyes for a moment. Just slowing your body down. A couple of nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, inhale, breathing in. And exhale out. And to finish off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your legs into a tabletop position and we're gonna go ahead and grab a hold of your shins. So we're hugging the knees into your chest and we're gonna take a deep breath in and on your exhale, we're gonna rock yourself up. <laughs> Good job. That's the preparation for rolling like a ball, which will be in the next class that I teach. Anyway, it's really important to focus on strengthening your abdominals with these small little movements for right now so that it will prepare you for the next workout, which will be a beginning Pilates mat class. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for joining us.